Hello everyone and welcome back to David Stanley FPV. Today we have the um, Space One X220 frame uh, that we're going to do a build on. This is the newer model, just ordered it last week actually and got it in uh, really pretty quick. I think I ordered it on Monday and received it on Friday, uh, regular mail here in the U.S. This new frame features a 4.5 millimeter uh, main plate uh, which comes from the factory with the beveled edges now uh, which is really nice they're not done in white I actually did that I trimmed uh, trimmed all of it out in white just because it already had these stickers on here but um, so far from what I can tell it's a really nice frame but anyway so let's go ahead and start start our build if we will. I'm going to be using uh, Emacs um, 2205, the RS2205-2300 KV motors paired with 30 amp little b um, ESC's. <clears throat> I have already measured cut everything just to to make time go faster here. Um, as you'll notice I have took all the wires off of the ESC I do that on all my builds uh, simply because I like to make everything as clean as possible um, and I also always remove the negative on the signal wire because you don't need it you got a negative right there that's already going to be grounded so you don't need a second negative it's just more wires all right, let's go ahead and get started here. Try to talk you through this as best as I can and explain everything as I'm going. I want to be sure before you solder, in case you haven't soldered very much before, you always have plenty of solder on all your tips but not too much. You might have just enough to get a good bond. One thing I also don't do, I also don't um, cross any of my wires to change the motor direction because like I said I want I like to have a clean uniform looking build so I put everything on straight if I need to reverse the motors I can reverse the motors and be heli, about heli sweet so that's usually what I do <clears throat> One thing to remember, even though Little B is a very good ESC to use, you still do not want to get these solder pads too hot. Um, if you use them on very many builds and have to take them off a lot, re-solder them, um, getting your pads too hot can make the little area that on the board where you solder to come loose. Typically on a build you'll do this you'll have these wires a little longer then you'll put your power distribution board on here mount your motors measure your wires and cut them to length I've already measured and cut these so I know they are the right length already so I don't need to do that. One other thing I always do I'm doing this build in just black and white and so uh, I always try to make them look I want my builds to look good as well as fly good. There's no sense in um, 
having a quad that flies great but is ugly uh, or doesn't look good. Uh, I like to look good and fly great. So I try to make everything match, make everything as uniform as possible. And there we go. One other thing I do, <clears throat> and I've just learned this from flying and having lots of crashes. Um, you know, the number one thing that happens in a crash is your props bend. Uh, what happens when your props bend downward? They come in contact with your wires and your ESCs and they could mess something up. So I always try to protect my ESCs and my wiring as much as possible. Because of that, I've started using this um, uh, flexible uh, sheathing uh, wrap and uh, this here this stuff stretches I mean when I, when you when you buy it it's about that size right there one uh, quarter uh, inch which is will stretch as you can see well over a half inch to slide on there dress that up a little bit as well as help protect it in case of an accident and then you just slide these on here on each end um, shrink wrap them down uh, another tip that I've learned from doing a lot of these builds and not having exactly the right equipment and the right supplies if you have shrink wrap that's a little bit too small or it's too hard to get on there you can take uh, some needle nose pliers like this and just stretch it out just a bit now when you put this piece on here you don't want to get it too close to the bell on your motor because if it is and it rubs it will cause friction there and will throw your motor off just a bit, just enough to notice it when you're flying different shrink wrap is different but they will only stretch so far before they start ripping if you rip a piece or get a little you see it start tearing you're best to throw that piece away get another piece and start over because you don't want any weak spots Now, another thing to remember, you always want to pay attention before you start this process as to where your positive and negative wires are. I know on these little B 30 amps, my positive is on this, on this side, my negative is on this side, my signal wire is on this side. So always, if you're messing with little Bs, uh, especially the 30 amps, the positive wire, because I've got everything the same color everything on this build uh, is going to be in black and white including my wiring and so um, I know that this is my positive this is my negative because of my uh, signal wires over here on this side now we'll go ahead and mount the motor and repeat four times so that's how you do that and there we have it all four on all four motors mounted all four ESC's on ready to install the power board you would think right wrong because um, the top plate for this uh, thing is so small and I'm currently running a session um, 5 GoPro to record with I have to do a bottom mount for my battery so you need to go ahead and put your strap through here before you put your power board on unfortunately Space One sends a, a very nice uh, strap that is rubber coated on the back 
um, really good but it's just a little bit too long uh, for a bottom mount and and I even run the uh, the huge uh, graphene Turnigy um, 4S batteries but still the strap is too long and you don't get a good grip when you strap your batteries in so I had to use a smaller one let's go ahead get this bad boy on here we can go ahead and start hooking everything up Start soldering. Okay, I got a negative here, so let's go ahead and just start right here. Okay, now that we have everything soldered on that we need soldered on as far as the ESCs, the uh, battery plug-in goes. There's a few more things. Um, first, we need to decide how uh, and in what direction our flight controller is going to go. I'm going to mount this one like this so that I got a side connection for the USB instead of coming out the back. So I'm going to turn it like this, so I'm going to need my VBAC going to the front. We'll go ahead and connect to that. You want to connect your VBAT directly to the wires coming in from your battery. So you get an accurate reading of the battery voltage so that'll be for our feedback now I'm going to need to connect my 5 volt wires 